was okay. I held it together well. It was a little scrappy. It's, you know, the conditions are tricky. Um, hard to, like, fully commit to, to shots out there at times just because the wind is, you know, if it's across, it feels down at one point, then into, and it's just sort of hard to, to really commit to where the wind direction is at times. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, after the slow start, sort of making a few birdies around the turn was, was good. Uh, a little wasteful coming in, you know, I... You know, had a good chance for birdie on, on 15 in the middle of the fairway and didn't take that. Missed a shortish one on 16 and then the bogey on 17. So, you know, probably turned a, you know, three under into a one under there at the end. But um, overall, still not a, you know, not a bad score. And, um, you know, obviously a lot of golf left to play. Just, as I said, just to, to commit to, to hitting certain shots and, um, and even like you know, committing to reads on greens because some of those exposed greens can, uh, you know, the wind can affect the reads on those. So, yeah, you know, it's and it looks like it's going to be windy again tomorrow. So, um, you know, depending on what time we get back out there again, you know, I'm going to go to the range here and, and hit a few balls and, and hopefully feel a little bit more comfortable with everything when we get started again tomorrow. Rory, sometimes you need a break or two to win the major. Um, it looked like a nine from the TV angle. You hit the tree and it kind of bounced right out. Is that right? It did, yeah. Um, yeah, that was nice. It sort of happened on seven as well. I hit the tree and it, it, I got a favorable bounce. So, yeah, you sort of need to ride your luck a little bit here and there. But um, hopefully, I don't need to. I don't need to get any lucky bounces from from here on out. Hopefully, I just keep hitting fairways. Or you mentioned the other day trying not to win the tournament with the first tee shot. Does that mindset apply to what happened at number two? And how did you handle that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. It's the second hole of the tournament. There's 70 holes left to play, so uh, it was nice to bounce back with a good three on the next. And yeah, just it's, there's a long way to go, and, and not to, you know, not to panic or, or you know, everyone's going to make bogeys this week, and it's it's just a matter of when you do resetting and uh, sticking to your game plan. Are you aware? Are you or are you allowed of the scores that you repeat what you're Like, are you aware when somebody else in your group's going well? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I think when they're playing with you, it's it's hard not to notice. And, um, you know, Scotty does such a good job of, you know, it doesn't look like it's six under par. And then at the end of the day, it's it's six under par. He's just so, he's just so efficient with everything. You know, if you look at Scotty compared to, you know, the rest of um, the rest of the field, the amount of bogey free rounds he, he plays and he shoots is uh, is phenomenal. And, you know, that's the... You know, that's the secret to, to winning major championships and winning, you know, big time golf tournaments is is more the, the limit limiting the mistakes rather than, you know, making a ton of birdies. And, you know, I, I made three bogeys today and, you know, which is fine out there in, in these conditions, but just need to tidy it up a little bit to, to try to keep up with them.